friends. Last week when we were repairing our bad tire and we repainted the rim, we found out that one of the posts was actually cross-threaded and today we're going to try and fix it utilizing a, a die and cast kit that we purchased. So come along and let's see if we're going to be successful. And then stop it. As you can see, we cannot continue threading this, and at this point, we should be able to do it by hand. So now we're going to try and see if we can successfully re thread it. This is the tool we're going to use. And this has to match the diameter of your stud. In our case, we know what is the diameter of our stud. Uh, but also the kit, and I will show you later, has a way to establish it if you don't really know what it is. Stop it. It did something. I didn't touch it though. Oh, is it recording or not? Yes. So as you can see, we can thread it, but at this point I stopped and you should never try to press a, a bolt into a thread because that's what causes chorus threading. So we're going to use our tool to try and re-thread. You need to make a couple of repetitions like that to make sure you cut a clear th thread. Now, of course, if this fails, we will need to replace the stud. So, hopefully, this will work for us. In a normal threading situation, you won't have to screw and unscrew this handle, but because of the other studs here, we have to do that. So we have to repeat that until we have no resistance and we know that the all the threads have been repaired. I guess this is uh, our die inside the tool. And this allows for different dies I will show you in a few minutes how the whole tool looks like. So let's try it now and see if we can thread it. And sure enough, as you can see, we have repaired the thread. You can see we're already in more than enough. So a tool like that will save you a lot of money. You would have to spend a couple of hundred dollars for a mechanic to replace or thread this. So having something like that really pays for itself. In this case, it paid for us on the first uh, use we have for it. Now we are going to reinstall the tire and uh, I will show you the kit that we used for this. Okay, sweetie. 
Okay, now we just need to take everything apart and put it back in the kit. As you can see, the kit has enough material for everything. And in our case, we did know the dimensions, but if you don't, the kit comes with a gauge for metric and a gauge for uh, standard that allow you to find out what size cask you need depending on the thread that you need to do. So, as you can see, there is a variety of sizes here for virtually every job that you're going to ever need to do. This is a very nice kit. That, uh, it produced for us excellent result and we're very, very happy for it. This is a kit from Harbor Freight. It was, I believe, under $40. And definitely, a mechanic would have charged us substantially more to do the same work. And, and this is the kit. I hope you found this automotive tip useful and it will help you to, to repair your own bolts and nuts if they are cross-threaded or stripped. And if you did, please share, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you soon. In fact, tomorrow we're going to have a very nice Christmas project for you. So tune in tomorrow as well, and enjoy a, a Christmas tree made out of pallet wood. Have fun, and we'll see you soon.